Welcome to the Swing Trading Recycles channel. We're going to cover natural gas today and of course boil in UNG as usual. We'll probably look at cold if we have some time. It's February, it's, excuse me, March 2nd. It is the second trading day of the month. It's a Thursday. The market is now closed. And let's review natural gas. Let's look at the daily chart first. If you're not following on Twitter, definitely take a look at that pinned comment for uh, a link. I've been tweeting about this, haven't been able to make a video in the last few days, but really this has just been kind of this, like, as I said on Twitter, this is a daily cycle low. This was your swing low here. And now we've had, since this swing low, we've now had five days of follow through. Today, we made a new high on what is day six, as I tweeted earlier. And we've now kind of paused. Notice though, we did not make a new low. And that's what I've been saying. Don't worry about back tests or moving averages. At this point, the game is very simple. We need to hold higher lows, which we have been. Notice, since here, we haven't made a higher, a lower high yet. Uh, excuse me, a lower low yet. Um, actually, no, is that right? Was this a lower low? No. But what you do want to be aware of and like vigilant about is the false breakdown. Because we did have, we've had several false breakdowns on lower time frames. And so now it's a, definitely possible that we're going to have a lower low on a daily chart, even if we're going to continue an uptrend. So it gets a little tricky now. This line, just for reference, is a is a 50 day moving average that we have up here. I'll get rid of that. And just to give you a sort of sense of where the 10 day moving average is, it's this blue line here. And you can see the other thing is that it's now moving up. Now, if you waited to see it moving up, you would already be late in the trade. And in fact, notice this swing low doesn't close above the 10 day moving average, but that was your signal to get in. We gap up above it the next day and stay above it. Now, short term, this does look like this does look extended, like this is going to pull back pretty hard or it's going to chop around, consolidate for a little bit, um, just be sort of annoying, if, if you will. So it either has to it either has to kind of work off that condition in time or by coming down in price. So we'll see which one it chooses, obviously. And let's look at the weekly charts and the monthly charts. Because that's actually much more important. We have a weekly swing low in place now, which is a really important signal. Tells us it is possible that, or very likely I even should say, that we have a weekly cycle low in place. So this would be week one of a new weekly cycle, which is pretty exciting. And so let's move on to that weekly chart. So that puts us potentially here. Oh, this is number from the daily chart. So this is potentially week one of a new weekly cycle. And we talked about before, right, that like this could have been one big long weekly cycle or these were two short ones, right? Like, excuse me, this was one at 16 weeks. And this is another one, ironically, also looks like it bottomed on week 16. So you could think that this is just one 32 week cycle and our top was on week seven or this cycle topped out on week four. Either way, you had a really left translated. You have a period of left translation, like where it just went. It just went um, down for a lot longer than it went up. I mean, to go up for four weeks and then go down for twelve weeks, man, that's pretty brutal, right? And if you think about the other thing that we would expect, the same way on the daily chart, we closed above the ten-day moving average, as we talked about. We'll probably do that above here. Now, obviously. Now think about that. The, the the 10 day moving average is clearly trending, is moving up. It's clearly pointing up. The 10 week moving average is still pointing down because you still have this massive downtrend. And it's the thing that it's important to understand. It's never as simple as, oh yeah, it's over. We have the bottom until you have more evidence. Right now, all we have is an uptrend on the daily chart, which is important, but we don't have an uptrend on the weekly chart yet. We need to see something you know, we, we would need to see something like this, hold a higher low on the weekly and then move up. That's how you know you're in an uptrend, the same way we've held higher lows on the daily chart. So it's still early, but it's it's a pretty good bet that this is week one of a new weekly cycle. And as I said, also important, look at that two week candle. Have that be your have that be your your preview of the monthly candle. We have a swing low. 
Now, there's a lot of time for this thing to trade because this candle doesn't close this week. It closes next week, which is the point. It's essentially half of a month, so it gives you more data than a weekly candle, but it gives you a head start on that monthly candle. It's a really nice little tool. This is super bullish. Look at that long wick. Now, again, I want to remind that doesn't mean this mean we're going back to all time highs. Not at all. Think about that. Look at this little rally within this downtrend. This could just be a little rally within this downtrend and lower lows. But the point is right now, right here and now, this is in and up. This is trying to this is trying to stop this massive downtrend on the two week chart. And again, obviously, on the weekly chart, we now have two green weeks in a row, which is another. I and mean, we have one more day to trade tomorrow, so we'll see how that closes. But it seems unlikely that this thing is going to go red for the week. Again, big signal. You expect closing above the 10-week moving average pretty soon thereafter. And the monthly chart. Again, so we talked about the weekly or the two-week chart. But look at the monthly, folks. So again, this is day two of a new... Um, of a new month this was your february monthly candle my god this thing was blood red and we talked about that that's what would happen to this candle now it would have been more bullish if it continued to go higher and we got more of a hammer like right like we got more of a green body here but this is still pretty good and also keep in mind above two spot seven eight eight we have a monthly swing low so, so once we get above this, that makes this a monthly swing low. So that's a really important signal right there. We're going to be watching for that really closely. Now let's move on to Boyle and UNG, similar signals. So for Boyle, that monthly swing low comes into play above 709. And we, when we haven't, yeah, we were above there um, uh, uh, for a little bit, but we've then pulled back. So that's your monthly swing low. What about your two-week swing low? So we already have a swing low on the weekly. We know about that. That's the same thing as that. So uh, as long as we stay above 664, wow, we have a two-week swing low in place. And so we're at 682 here, pulling back after hours. Powerful signal here. And for Boyle, it's not crazy to think that the next level up by next week is call it $8.00. And from there, that gives you a straight shot to 10 and maybe the mid-teens, right? That's a nice upside from here. I mean, we'll have to see how it all plays out. And this is your weekly, this is your daily chart on, on Boyle. So now the state of play is very clear. You really want to stay above this low, ideally, so above 654. But like your really last line in the sand, I wouldn't even say it's this. Structurally, it's this. And that's, that may seem a little subjective, but I think that just comes with experience. It's more, it's likely, so this is your ultimate swing low that you need to stay above, but it's, you could see a world where we do pull back to down to in this level, maybe even break it below it, give up, make, uh, you know, turn into a false breakdown. So something like, if I could draw this out, so something like that, and then maybe even like that before a move up. Now that's not a prediction, and I don't ever try to predict future price action. I don't think that's uh, cons that's something that one can consistently do. I'm just thinking about scenarios. This seems like a likely scenario to me. Pull back, whoop, whoop, and then gone, right? Maybe it doesn't get all the way down here. Who knows? Maybe it's more like something like that, right? Just, it, 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 it but it, it does, it is really scary, something like that. Let's see, what would UNG look like at that level? So you can see, again, same kind of idea. So maybe you'll pull back to below 8, 850 even from here boom and then slingshot up for Boyle, that two week swing low is active above eight dollars and ninety cents these are important levels to understand so below eight dollars and ninety cents you no longer have this swing low in place that tells you maybe to be a little bit more cautious it allows you to be subjective versus feeling kind of emotional with the you know swaying of the green to red gives you something to anchor yourself and as we look at cold which is the you know, inverse, so it should be move, uh, going lower. You can see it actually had a little green candle today, just like we had a red candle, so it makes sense. It's the inverse. And we, I mean, so clearly we have a swing high, just like we have a swing low. So it's all just the same on, on the other side of it. And so the same way that I'll, I'll, like we just made a swing high on the weekly, so we're starting a weekly downtrend in the same way that we expect Boyle and UNG are starting a weekly uptrend. 
So this is going to be really interesting to see how these next few weeks play. The, the trade is very easy from here. You remain long. You watch for those higher lows. Be aware of the false breakdown. Those things will crush you. It's really frustrating, which is why you have to give this thing room to breathe. And position size. You've got a position size. That's so important. Position size so you can keep yourself in the trade. Um, and for cold, we haven't made the lower low. on. Well, no, we did. So the low last month is $50.99, and we're, we just dropped below that. So you can see this thing making a move down to 30 even, right? like taking out this low. Because, of course, this thing is also down only as well. So this is just kind of resuming a downtrend. That doesn't mean we have the final bottom in, bottom in natural gas by any means. You trade this thing level to level. We're in a daily cycle. High, we're in a daily cycle rally right now. It's day six. Think about it that way. It's also most likely a new weekly cycle. So we watch to see how long those are going to rally for. That's all. It's, it's that simple. Patiently watch those higher lows. Um, so that's all we've got for today. Actually, before we adjourn, let's look at LNG because that thing had shown some strength after making. Right. Yeah. So we talked about yeah, it had its earnings around here and it actually turned into a gap and go. So this is a new daily cycle. So that's week one or excuse me, day one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it actually, so that's, so it, it had its daily cycle low right around the same time that natural gas, the commodity did. So that's interesting. And it also is now above this level here, which was your daily cycle high. So that's a buy signal on UNG for a run back to 182. We're down here at 163. So that's some nice acreage, actually. Um, hmm. That is one I'm going to take note of. So that's your daily. And on the weekly level, you can see, right, this important low is holding. So this is week one, two, three, four. So obviously different count than natural gas itself, the commodity. This appears to be in week four of a new weekly cycle. This other one having been theoretically then a really short one. Um, and if you think about the monthly chart, ooh, nice little monthly swing low developing here. Though I will say this has the look of a bear flag, but you know it's a bear flag until proven uh, until proven otherwise. Um, so this is an interesting play here on natural gas. It obviously is not. Uh, it's obviously been more bullish. <laughs> I mean, look at this move and this like really shallow retracement, which is why that does make me suspicious that this big move ends in just this little move down here. Right? It makes me suspicious of something like this. But we're going to have to see how this plays out for now. It's, you know, the stop levels are pretty clear. Because on that daily chart, you have that gap. Right, like you have this, you have, or I would I would really even say, like, you know, depends on how you want to think about it. If you cross below, if you cross back into this range here, you probably want to get out. That's 156. And we're up here at 163. Um, so that's it. We're, we'll, 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 we'll leave it at that. That's our update on natural gas. Thanks for watching.